Good morning, my name is Linda Capaldo and I'm here at Al Hollow Farm in Greencastle, Pennsylvania with uh, our newest intake. This is Welsh's Amazing Grace. She's a coming 11 year old registered Clydesdale mare. Um, we just picked her up this morning and as you can see, poor Grace is in kind of poor condition. Um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to do her intake evaluation or basically a, a rescue because at this point she is pretty underweight, um, needs some extensive hoof rehab, and has some pretty nasty infected scratches on her hind legs and one foreleg. So we are going to do an evaluation of her hooves here first thing. We'll give you some shots of her scratches so you know what you're looking at, and I will talk you through this process. So for me starting out with any new horse, it's important to establish a pattern. Um, whether it's picking up your feet, whether it's grooming, whether it's touching them, anything starting out with a new horse, they need to know what to expect from you. Whenever I'm picking up any horse's foot, and this goes for all my guys, and this is what makes it easier for me to pick up my own horse's feet, I start with the front left foot, move to the front right foot, go to the back right foot, and then the back left foot. This is my process. Every single time, without fail, I do not deviate, and they learn that pattern and then they'll start to pick their feet up for me even before I get to it. So with this girl, we've only touched this mare one time before. That was last night when we went to go look at her. So today, hit Grace. Oh, good girl. <laughs> As you can see, she's shifting herself to get comfortable for me. Easy, mama. Easy, mama. I know, I know, girl. I know, mama. Give it. So what we're looking at here, is uh, some pretty extensive growth on this foot. As you can see, the bars have grown up and laid over a sole that has not been trimmed in quite some time to get rid of excessive wool. Oh my, we have some exfoliating sole that's loose that needs to be cleaned up um, and some pretty severely um, run forward heel and toe. We're probably looking at a six month to year rehab on this mare and for her feet. Um, look in here, it looks like the white line is not too excessively stretched that I can see yet on this foot, which is a great thing. Um, so on this foot, we might be looking at closer to six months just to pull these heels back because this right here should be closer to back here. Um, I'm gonna trim this mare today, but whenever I trim her, easy mama, easy mama. I will trim up these bars. I will trim off this ratty looking frog and I'll take her heel down maybe halfway of what should come down. You don't wanna go too fast, too quick um, cause that can cause issues with excessive stretch in their tendons, the muscles in their legs especially if they're used to having that long heel and it's been like this for a while, which she obviously has. Good girl. So as you can see, Grace is not exactly square here. Another crucial part to success at picking up a big horse's foot, make sure they're square. Make sure they have all four feet under them, like they're paying attention to what you're doing and not paying attention to the peanut gallery behind them. Um, so we're gonna ask her to pick. Pick, Grace, pick. Good girl, easy. She doesn't want to give it. Having feathers helps to grab a hold of, but we don't have that quite here today, so. We can do with what we have. We can also grab a hold of the chestnut up here and give it a small twist. That's what wild horses do in the, in the wild to establish dominance and make another horse pick their feet up, which it's a good training tool, but you don't want to have to do that if you don't need to. I'd rather have my horses trained to just grab their fetlock and they pick it up. So again, we've got some really nasty ratty frog. Looks like she's got quite a bit of thrush brewing in there. Um, more excess overgrown bar. Exfoliating sole. Very, very long toes that need pulled back. Um, I do all my own farrier work for every horse here at Al Hollow. I've been trimming horses for 18 years. 
Um, I apprenticed with a couple of different farriers in the area. Um, so this will be an every four week trim to take a little bit at a time to get her back to square where she needs to be. Easy mama, good girl, good girl. So we're going back here to this back foot and already she has shifted her weight for me anticipating this foot because this is what I did last night and just like that she's anticipating what I want with this foot she's not going to give it to me so well um she's got some really really nasty easy mama easy mama she has got some really really nasty infected scratches on this leg so I'm gonna do my best to keep my face first of all out of the way of any flying feet and do a quick eval here. Again, overgrown bars. Her backs don't look quite as bad as the fronts. Most horses wear their backs better than their front feet. She is no exception. So her heels are not quite as long. They're not as uh, pulled forward, but her bars are excessive. This swelling and these grapes here in her fetlock and pastern area I don't know if you can get in there and see. Well, there's a good one. Um, are raw. They're sore. This is typically what happens when you let scratches go and do not treat them and keep them clean. Um, most horses, especially draft horses that are work horses, will develop this on their back feet before their front feet because of standing in a tie stall in a barn um, waiting to work. And the manure builds up around their back feet before their front feet and uh, it, the manure burns and the urine burns and you get scratches because it holds in these little moist recesses and then the grapes grow and then the infection starts and it has quite a smell to it just so you know and we will do and be doing a treatment on that today as well and we'll video that too hi guys welcome back it's probably about three hours later since the last time i was talking to you um, we took our time to give this girl a good steady trim. Uh, we took some time, cleaned her up. She's been pretty weak, so we've been giving her a lot of time to take breaks when she needed it. The big part of trimming these big guys is you don't want them to take their foot from you because then they realize they can. Um, you want to feel your horse, feel when they're starting to get shaky, and give them a break before they actually take the foot from you, which we've done a lot of that for her today. So I just wanted to give you a visual of the bottom of her foot kind of show you what we've done uh, and I'm also going to spray her with some of my homemade thrush remedy pretty simple stuff it's raw apple cider vinegar and tea tree oil um, we found it to be very helpful for treating mild cases of thrush so we're going to go ahead and give her a couple squirts of it to get her started in the right direction so take mama so as you can see we've taken off quite a bit of wall Quite a bit of excess overgrown bar and heel sorry got shedding hair everywhere and we've cleaned up some of that ratty frog this is going to be an every four week trim for her we still have some wall to take down some heel still needs to come down and back but this is a good start for her to start getting comfortable on these feet want to make sure to get down in these collateral grooves Get in the central sulcus real good to kill any bacteria that might be growing in there. Gracie. Pick mama. Pick mama. Oh, good girl. That's a big one. is not the prettiest trim I've ever put on a horse, but considering what we were working with, it's quite a bit better. Uh, we've had to pull in some of these heels. She's still a little bit wide on this inside, but I don't want to take her wall completely away. We need to leave her a good solid heel. We'll continue to try to tighten up that white line and bring that heel in over the next several weeks and months.
my bottle will work. Don't be delicate. Good girl. Oh, good girl. You can see we've been working with her and she's already starting to anticipate what I'm gonna ask of her. Pick mama. Oh, good girl. Good job, pretty girl. Girl, mama. Gracie, pick. Oh, good girl. Good job. That's happened. You hear Trin the farm dog. <laughs> she came out to help make sure we're doing everything correctly, supervising. <laughs> Good girl, Grace. So later on this afternoon, we're gonna do a betadine scrub on her scratches, uh, try and get her shaved up to expose the irritated flesh. And we'll do a uh, treatment ap application of uh, just a scratches treatment that I've been doing for a couple of years on different horses something that we found that works and we'll video that later so you can see that too. Have a great day that guys. Thanks for joining us. Hit that like button.